Hi there YouTube, welcome to another episode of the 100 days of Webflow. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over Linus smooth scrolling. We're gonna apply Linus smooth scrolling to our Webflow project and we're gonna see how it works well with the uh, Webflow interactions and uh, our overall Webflow styles. This is gonna be a very nice tutorial. Now, Linus smooth scrolling is something that when you add to the website, it makes it look really professional. So you're gonna see that. We're even gonna have a look at two different sites and see how they differ between Linus smooth scrolling and the regular scrolling that we have so without further ado let's get to it let's see how this is done okay so let's start now why we choose lenis it's a great library that actually a lot of awards winning websites use it's very light it loads really well and it doesn't interact or overlap with other interactions that we have on the website which makes it really great and really useful so let's see first our normal websites and the scroll is pretty much normal. Uh, depends on the speed that I have or that I scroll through. That's basically what we usually experience when we go through websites. Linux scrolling allows us to make this even smoother and allows us to control the options or the variations of how the scroll is done. So let's see how that is done. Now we can go to Linus. Now I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check it out. We can go to the GitHub repository and we can check out how to install this. We need the script to load the Linus library on our project. So if I go to my page settings and I go to before closing body tag and I paste in this script and this is basically the Linus library. Next, I have to initiate Linus. So, so let's go back here and this is the basic setup that Linus gives us. So let's copy this and let's go back to our project. In here, we have to open a script tag uh, close script tag. I like to open and close them and then write the code in between. So here I'm going to paste in the code that I just copied from Linus. And now basically that's it. Now I have Linus done. So if I save and publish, so we're going to compare it with the other project. So we have here, this is the old project. And then if we see the new project, we have this smooth scroll that's applied. Um, I'm not sure if this is very visible in the video, but it's very much smoother. However, if we play around with the settings, I'm sure it's going to be much more visible. This is video 21 of the 100 days of Wafla journey. If you're enjoying this type of content, do subscribe to the channel. A lot is waiting for you. So let's see how to add settings. So let's go back to the GitHub and then we can go back to the settings. So here we have settings and you can see there are different settings that helps us control the scroll effect or the smoothness of the scroll. So one of them is Lerp, for example, Lerp is very commonly used. So to add settings to Lenis, we'll just need to go in this. So where it says new Lenis and then between the brackets, we're going to open these brackets. I actually don't know what they're called. And then here we add in our settings. So Lerp. And then if we go back to our page, you can see that the Lerp default value is 0 0.1 and we have uh, values between 0 and 1. So if we write, let's say 0 0.5, you can see that it gets faster. So if we save this and publish, and again, I will try to keep this. So this is the small scroll. Let's go back. So this is the new um, Lerp with 0 0.5. And this is Lerp 0 0.1. Definitely smoother with 0 0.1. Let's try wheel multiplier. So this is, it multiplies how many times or how many scrolls you need to get to a certain section. So usually if I scroll one time and it gets me to the next section, if I apply this, I can make it scroll two times to get me to the next section or even more or less. So let's see how this is done. So let's copy, let's copy wheel multiplier. So here we need to write the wheel multiplier. So the default value was one. So let's write two, for example, come. Let's save and publish. Now on the publish side, you can see this is much faster, even faster than the original scroll. And if I go back and make this something like 0 0.5, it's gonna be much slower than even uh, the original LERP 0 0.1. So we can see here, if we go to the live version and scroll, this is much, much slower. That's basically it. So I'll leave links to this in the description below. I'll leave a link to this template as well. You guys can clone it, play around with it, and let me know what you think. See you in the next video.